See, whenever your priorities are out of order, then you will function as if you're out of order. That's why scripture says in Matthew 6, 33, to seek God first above all else. You see, in order for things to fall in this proper place in your life, he has to be in the proper place. If he's not first, if he's not at the beginning, if he's not at the center of the relationship, if he's not at the center of your finances, if he's not at the center of your dreams and goals, everything else will go uh, awry. It, 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 you, you will be all over the place until he's in his proper place. He has to be first. He has to be center. And let me tell you something that I know firsthand. When you start involving God at the beginning of things, things somehow, I don't know how it works, I can't quite put my finger on it, but somehow things begin to fall in place. You start giving even when you say, I don't know how this bill's going to be paid, and somehow the check comes in the mail. You start, you start just following God and doing what the doctor says, although you don't feel like it, and then somehow healing comes. You start going to work with a great attitude and with a smile on your face, even though you don't like your manager, and then somehow you get the promotion that you've been waiting for. Somehow things just kind of fall into place when you begin to put God first. Now here's the thing I know, that even if things don't change right away, when you know that God is at the helm of the ship, no matter what goes wrong, you somehow still have peace while the storm is going on all around you because you know that he's able. You know his power far as outseeds yours. You know his abilities aren't limited. You know that he's able to do ex exceedingly and abundantly above anything we can think or even imagine, even when our faith is not in the right place. 